Man who fought he lost all hope, loses last additional bit of hope he didn't even know he still had. This is a story of Everton Football Club this season, and if you're an Evertonian, I fucking feel bad for you. I, I don't know what else to say here. Cheapest and most reliable coins on the market. Go down to u7buy.com. Link is down below in the description. And make sure to use code VISA at checkout for 5% off. There's one thing being a big club who's going through a rough time. And a bad time at that. There's another thing having your biggest rivals literally right next door to you. Also being one of the best teams in the world at the moment. Then it gets worse that almost every single player that you bring in that you get hope for. Then becomes kind of a medium. York player. And then at last, it then hits you that not only are you possibly going down and you're in a relegation dogfight, however, you could also receive a goddamn points deduction because of the fact you spent so much money in the last few years and still failed with all that money. How is it possible to spend so much more money than what you should do, yet somehow still almost be going down? Farhad Mashiri. That is why. In the last 24 hours, there's been a lot of information about the possibility of Everton Football Club being given given a points deduction, the first time in Premier League history that a team could get a points deduction for breaching profit and sustainability rules. But how many points can it be? We could only look at teams that's been given a points deduction in recent years. If they were to receive a points deduction, how much would it be? Well, if we take Derby County or Sheffield Wednesday as an example, then we could be imagining around 6 to 9 points deduction, maybe even 12 in the worst case scenario if they see it as that severe. Sheffield Wednesday, they would have deducted 6 points for breaching FFP, even though they were initially given 12, it was half. How is this happening? I'll tell you why. There's an article here by The Express this morning saying that Everton recorded combined losses of more than £260 million pounds between 2017 and 2020. Okay, £260 million combined losses. And of course, we know this because each calendar year, the clubs have to state exactly how much money they spend, how much they receive, or where does it go to, and this is what has been recorded. And this is a clear breach of the Premier League's profit and sustainability rules. Those rules state that they can only permit losses of only £105 million pounds over a three-year period. And of course, they are above it by £155 million. And the worst part is, between 2020 and 2021, they are especially better to have even more of a loss of more than 100 million pounds on top of that. So just to understand, they are already 155 million over what they should be spending and for the next calendar year, which they have to show within the end of the month, then it is predicted that they've already spent another 100 million plus. So it's not looking good for them to be reaching that 105 million um, permit. Everton has realised this and they're now scrambling trying to find out a way to see out how can they avoid a points deduction because right now in most most years it won't be a big big deal because they are usually mid table at least this year it matters because there's only one point between Burnley high 18th and Everton who's 17th right now only one point in it the league rules state that any clubs in breach of those rules can be fined or docked points though Everton will be the first team in history of the Premier League to be punished with a points deduction of this way it does not help that only last week Everton had to sever ties with their main sponsor, which is Alisha Uzmanov, after all the sanctions that were led due to Russia and the Ukraine invasion. And severing that tie due to the Russian sanctions has cost Everton about £300 million that they were going to receive over the course of 20 years. Everton knows that they are in a very bad situation because they were meant to be providing the Premier League with the accounts of the 2020 2021 season back in December, which was delayed, and they have to show it by the end of this month. And how Everton is trying to get around it is by saying that they're trying to delay it to seek clarification onto how much of their losses can be put down to the impact of COVID-19 and the pandemic. They're trying their absolute best, try and scrape out money of why they've lost money due to pandemic. However, if they are 150 million over how much they should be spending, that's not looking good. If you look at the transfer business, and this is from back in 1617, which I think is where we started, and this is in euros, by the way, this is in euros, to keep that in mind. Um, I can't change it to pounds for some reason, so if we got 86 million spent, 60 million sold, next year, 203 million spent, don't know how they did that, 126 million sold, year after that, 99 million spent, 28 million sold, year after that, 121 million spent, 87 million sold, 
Yeah, for that, 73 million spent, 4 million sold. Then this year, they spent 39 million and sold 46 million. Um, Luca Dean being a good amount of that. Of course, as you can see, they spent more money than what they sold. And you may say, yeah, but like City, for example, like United, you know, like City, like they spend a lot of money. I think it's all based on how much money you bring in as well and money and goals in other areas. I, I don't think it's just transfer sums, but this is just an example of what they spent their money on in terms of transfer business. But I think there's also of other areas like the stadium. I think they're also making a new stadium and wages and things like that. The possibility of Everton actually receiving a points deduction is actually probably quite high and I got a feel for Everton fans here because it's almost like every single thing that could go wrong is literally going wrong right in front of your eyes and it's almost like how is this even possible? You can talk about bringing in Frank Lampard all you want and to be fair even to this day like now like I, I still don't think Everton are going down but that's because I just think they have like they do have quality. They do have quality would that matter? Maybe not. I, I still, now, still, I still don't think they're going down. I still think they can still win, at least at Goodison Park. You know, they could do it on a day. But you know, I've seen crazy things happen. And if this happens and there is some sort of points deduction, then Jesus Christ, man. Tell me your thoughts down below in the comments. And Everton, it's just not going well right now, is it? It really isn't. I'll see you guys next time for another video. And stay safe, boys. Peace out.